given as 2 to the power x equals 3 to the power y equals 12 to the power z so these three are equal so let 2 to the power x equals 3 to the power y equals 12 to the power z equals to k which means that 2 to the power x equals k 3 to the power y equals k and also 12 to the power z equals k therefore we can write 2 is equal to k to the power 1 by x this is a general rule when you want the power to shift from left hand side to right hand side we just do the reciprocal just for example let's say x is equal to 4 x square is equal to 4 then x will be equal to what we usually write square root of 4 what is square root of 4 basically it's 1 by 2 to the power 1 by 2 suppose i say x cube is equal to 8 we say therefore x will be equal to cube root just the opposite thing we write what is cube root cube root is nothing but to the power one third so this part we don't know is unknown so when this comes here when the power is also shift, shifted to the other hand side of the equation we write its reciprocal so therefore 3 will be equal to k to the power 1 by y uh, 12 will be equal to k to the power 1 by z this is the first rule so be it any equation uh, not only in case of power when you shift anything uh, from left to right or right to left if it's a plus it becomes minus if it's a minus it becomes plus if it's a division it goes to the other side it gets multiplied vice versa the same thing happens in case of power if the power is like this when you bring the power here it becomes the reciprocal of the power okay now next step now this 12 is equal to k to the power 1 by z and 12 can be what are the factors of 12 2 into 2 into 3 which is 2 square into 3 now instead of 2 i can write k to the power 1 by x whole square and instead of 3, I am going to write k to the power 1 by y equals to k to the power 1 by z. Now, the powers are equal. Okay, I'll just simplify this more. k to the power 2 by x into k to the power 1 by y equals k to the power 1 by z. In case you are wondering, like power over power gets multiplied. So, 1 by x into 2 is 2 by x now here since the bases are equal and they are multiplied the powers will be added now the bases are equal and in order to equate the bases you need to have single bases earlier we couldn't have done it because there are two bases on this hand side one base on this hand side so in order to equate the bases you need to convert it into a single base now we have a single k here single k here and never cancel like this cancel it in your mind and write it when the bases are equal the powers are also equal and cancel them in your mind so 2 by x plus 1 by y will be equal to 1 by z. I think this is what uh, we had to prove. Yes. So I'll just, therefore 1 by z equals to 1 by y plus 2 by x.